Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kumi Trent. It's Mini Monday Madness and we're making mini watercolor landscape tutorials. Um, this little mystical one and this little scary sky one. So let's get started. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to be working with mostly just um, some indigo with some black or pants gray. So it's a bluish gray color. Uh, it's fairly watery. Gonna get this brush. It's this is my Grumbacker 10 brush. Gonna zoom in for you right now. I'm just gonna put like it's got a little red on it. A wet horizon line going across. If you can see that. This is when it's actually good to see the shininess. And this brush, I don't know why it's red. It's annoying gonna wash that up to the top. I'm gonna take some really wet of this gray and have it bleed up like so. I'm gonna take some of this I'm gonna use a different brush because that brush seems to be too much red on it. I'm going to use this uh, Neptune number eight long round and grab some of that paint off there. But actually, the pink isn't so bad. That's a nice little hue to it. So I'm taking some of this color off the back. And I'm going to add some gray up top here. I'm going to go back into the horizon line and just touch it at the edge on this side. Whoop, it's a little too dark. Take some of that up with my brush. I'm just going to get some more deeper color on the bottom, on the horizon part. Just right here in the end. My line doesn't seem to be straight. I don't know why. So that part's good that it's bleeding like that. Let me zoom in for you. Again, we're going to go back in, get some more concentrated color. So it's less watery, more concentrated. Hit that bottom edge. Let it bleed just on this side. Don't go all the way across. If it's not bleeding enough up there, I'm going to add some more up here. It's got that mystical quality to it. Okay, let that bleed and let it dry a little bit. And we're going to go on this underneath it. Don't touch it because it will bleed, but get real close to it. It's a pale gray. And then let that bleed a little bit down here. All the way to the bottom. Grab some more of that deeper color. Just hit the edge. Let that bleed in. If you want to go back in and just get to the edge, but don't hit it till it's dry. And get rid of that white. Look at that. All right, let's move on to this one while that one's drying. I'm going to grab the brush and this time pull this back. I'm going to be grabbing some green, like a sap green. Where's my sap green? Oh, here it is. Cotman, Winsor Newton, sap green. Put that there. Get it fairly wet. Throw in some burnt umber so it's more brown. 
see how that consistency is really wet. Okay. I'm going to start in the opposite. I'm going to make a line across with that green. I'm going to blend all the way down. Now, at the edge here, go and grab some more concentrated of the green, add some more brown, get it really dark, and then hit that edge and watch it bleed. I'm going to dab it and it bleeds down more. Have it bleed on the bottom also. You can dab it in between the middle just to give it that metal feel look field look. It's not dark enough. I'm gonna grab some burnt umber. Throw that down here. Just on the edge in the corner here. And then I might even throw a little pants gray in the corner here. Just a little bit. Get that deep dark tone. If you want to put some of that up here, go right ahead. I'm going to keep that and let that dry. Now, we're both, we're going to have to let, well, we can go in and do this guy. Let's go and do this guy. So, just don't hit the green part. Take your brush, clean it off, get it wet, just with water. Go across the edge here. Don't touch the green. Get real close to it, but don't do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab that gray. La la la. And we're going to hit that baby. Watch it bleed. This is when you say you want to watch something bleed. Not in real life, but you know what I mean. Bleed out. And then on the sky up here, the clouds, dark, steep, scary clouds. Blow it in like that. Mm -hmm. Get some darker indigo. Mix it with some pans gray. Go up in here. Ooh, that's a deep, dark, scary sky. <laughs> oh, this is a little too shiny. There we go. Look how creepy that is. Now here, you want to be a little tricky. You want to push it together, but don't. You want to keep that white. And get that edge. Close, but no cigar kind of situation. Again, I'm going to grab real concentrated pans gray with some indigo. See that? Pans gray. And go hit that bottom part. And watch it bleed. I'm getting a little punchy. Yes, I'm sorry. It's been a long day for me. But this is a storm cloud. Tried to bleed through the green a little bit. Playing around with this. Just peeking through. Now you can also take um, old paper towel, dab it to get in there too. Go like that, like it's shooting. The um, the light's coming through. It's shooting through. It's trying to get through. How cool is that? Now this guy is dry, so we can go back in. We're going to take real concentrated, heavy duty. 
going to put a line here. And we're going to go like this. Get it wet. Going to layer this one. I'm going to put some trees over water. But we want that part really light. I'm going to put some in the back here too. So we'll grab the concentrated watercolor. I'm going to put some trees. Little sticks. I'm just kind of mushing that paint out to make it look like. Oops. A tree. And you're going to go down here where it's bleeding. Again, over here. Grab that paint. It doesn't have to be a pine tree. It could be like a regular tree. I'm making different sizes. And then blending it out here like it's shining on the ice. A bigger one up here at the end. And again. Now this got too blobby, so I'm going to take my brush, clean it off, and go in and soak up some of the paint. The brush, like that. See that? And I can add in that later. And then over here, I'm going to do those trees I have in these videos of mine that you've seen before. They're like those little skinny little spiky trees. Wintery trees. And if you want to go in and put little dashes for like reflection. Wait, that's gotta dry a little more so. But I like how the, actually the pink got into that. And over here, mm, still a little wet, but let's put a little house. So I'm grabbing some burnt umber, some paint gray. Just gonna put a little house here. And then I'm going to take some of that green, the color, pull it down. Oops, that looks like a blob, so I'm going to soak that back up. I'm going to put a tree over here. Ooh, blobby. Take some of that paint, it's too wet. back in and get the concentrated paint. And I'm not really making forest trees, just regular type of trees. Mm -hmm. On that one. Put 
one over here. That's still wet, so to do the roof and the little windows it is a problem. But I'm gonna put a shadow on the green grass. That tree is. And over here. Just a creepy dark sky. So I'm gonna dry this and come back. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna blow this up. So let's go back to this little house. Get the roof. I have to make it red so you can see it better. So concentrated. So it's a little wet and messy. I'm taking my brush and I'm trying to take away that paint. As you can see. See how I'm mopping that up? It's getting lighter. Actually, a faster way to do that is just a paper towel. Look at that. <laughs> and I can go in and add the red. And keep the red fairly dark. On here, under the roof, and on this side because it's in the shadow side. Keep it light on that side. And then I'll put in the black roof. With a little black door. The lines down here to give it some dimension. There. Then you got the little cabin in the woods. Oh, the little sh shiny. But you see it there. Sorry, maneuvering the light. It's fairly dark. There. There's a little cabin in the woods. And then I'm going to put some shadow where the house is down here. I'm going to take some paint away from the back end of it. Because it got a little dark. There. So you can see it better. At this point, um, if you want to take some deep green, mix up some of this hooker green. Now, you can use the fan brush, oh, as I showed you in my favorite brush tutorial. Get some paint on it and make the little grass lines. starting from the bottom, if it wants to cooperate. Mine doesn't seem to want to do that. Well, anyway, you get the idea. It's one of those days. <laughs> All right, so look at that. 
I'm going to go back into this guy and add the lines of the reflection on the tree. A little more concentrated. Move some more paint down here. Oops. Get a little deeper, darker on this side. Make it more mystical. Kind of fun. And there you have it. Let's just pull this tape up. Too many watercolor landscapes. Oops. One with the crazy, scary sky. Oh, no. Okay, well, that happens. Teared some of my painting. You want to kind of pull it towards away from you so it doesn't do that. I uh, unfortunately didn't do that. So let's see. I'll pull it back. Little mistake. I might have to glue that guy down. <laughs> Live tutorial, folks. This is no fake TV. This is no fake TV. Well, I will take that down. So there you have it. Two new minis. The scary sky and the sweet mystical one. If you like this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for stopping by on Mini Monday Madness.